break because today we are going to be showing you second all right yeah. uh how to get 100 percent beheading on a tinker's tool which will give us 100 percent uh wither skeleton skulls so all we do is come into our tool forge you can either use a paper cleaver which doesn't have great durability or you can use magical wood cleaver which is a lot better and then we'll show you how to get the skulls themselves so you're going to take your paper cleaver which is the easiest one to get you will need a notched apple diamond because we want to add more modifiers to this so at that put another star up here with i believe a diamond block or a gold block maybe it's just by itself it is that'll give us seven modifiers uh, which one did i miss it's one. Oh, that's right. It's just a plain old diamond. Alright, there we go. So we put our diamond up here with a gold block. And that'll give us eight modifiers. Now, next we're going to put our ender pearls in the top, our obsidian in the bottom. And if you notice, it turned purple. And it gave us a chance to be head 30%. There's 40, and we just keep going until we run out of modifiers. So if you look at here, this, it says chance to be head 100%. Now we can do the same exact thing with the uh, the magical wood, which it actually looks cooler too. Magical wood automatically starts off with many, many more uh, modifiers. So if you look here. <coughs> we got 100% beheading without even having to add any of this extra stuff. But just for the sake of doing it, let's see if we can get above 100%. It doesn't look like we can, so let's head to the nether and I'm going to show you exactly how I go about spawning the withers to make this uh, very fast. So we can track down our... Uh, Another portal here. I could edit this part out, but it's really not that far away. Or is it? <coughs> Anyways, so we once we get there. We're just going to build a simple little thing using the Cursed Earth on one of my videos that I just did a little bit ago. And if you look for your nether fortress here, uh, you're looking for an intersection. So somewhere that has like four points to it. Uh, four corners or like some sort of area that... Uh, you've seen withers spawning in. Now, I was looking for this. This is one of the perfect points to do so. And next, we're just going to break all this out. And put down your cursed earth right in this intersection. Now, you obviously want to keep the withers in here. I'm just doing it for the sake of showing you guys what I need to do. I'm obviously creative, so I don't need the safety side of this. But... As you see, bam, there's a wither. Now let's test out our swords. Don't run away on me, guy. <coughs> so, there we go. One kill, one wither skull. Now we're getting a lot of other stuff spawning here. Which is this is, is going to be a side effect of using the cursed earth, but that's okay. We could get another wither and we'll try out our paper cleaver just to make sure it's all working. Here we go. Oops. There it is. So there you go. 100% wither skeleton drops. I guess the durability doesn't gonna matter too much because you're only gonna need like three of these unless you're trying to do some big wither farming type deal but just proof and that it works there's your third skull so yeah 100% beheading it's amazing 
cursed earth definitely enhances this whole little process so i'd suggest trying to get that before uh going about this that's it